Someone on Facebook asked me if I would do a video on how to make tiny bows. Well, I remembered that when I did the video of tiny chicks, their little feet, well, they looked like bows. And so, this video is made up from clips of that video. Hey guys, it's Denise from Lumahat.com. For more information and a list of supplies, visit the website. All right, let's begin with a drawstring cast on. First secure your yarn to the anchor peg and then you're going to take your working yarn behind peg number one and then bring it forward and zigzag between every other peg until you've done 10 pegs. Then turn around and bring that yarn in front and lay it over the pegs and with your hook you're going to knit off every peg that has two loops. In other words, you're going to knit off every other peg. Now keep that working yarn that's laying over the pegs nice and loose so that when you're done with your cast on, you're ready for row one, it won't be too tight. On row number one, this first peg is a little tricky. It only has one loop in front of it, so you're just going to lay your yarn over pegs one and two but you're only going to knit off peg two that's only for this first row and then you're just going to knit all of your pegs we're using the u-wrap version of the knit stitch so just half wrap your peg and knit off half wrap and knit off so you had just finished the cast on this is row number one and just like peg one was a little funky so is peg ten so not to worry it looks kind of like this no problem just take your working yarn bring it forward lay it in front of peg number 10 and knit off that's your first row and now we're going to start in the opposite direction because we're going to be knitting flat that means we're going to be going back and forth instead of in the round and so we're going to knit all of these pegs. I want you to remember to take the knot off your anchor peg after a few rows because you don't need it, but you do need to finish the 12 rows. When you're done, we're going to cast off using the same method we used before. This is a gathered method. So go ahead and feed that working yarn through every one of those 10 pegs. And once you are done, making sure you've done all of them you can just take the loops off your pegs and of course as always you're going to stretch your stitches and this time we want to close up um, so pull really good on these strings and let's close um, to form a tube you want it nice and collected gathered however you want to call it and then we're going to sew this into place. Make sure you kind of roll that edge in so it looks nice and neat. Um, and then get a needle. I'm going to use my metal needle because I like these a lot now. And I'm going to thread that needle. And I'm going to close up the little hole on the top of this tube. Remember this is going to create our feet. And I know it looks like just one long tube but I promise you will have what looks like two feet. So don't worry about it. Just go ahead and sew the two sides together. Um, and what I do basically is I'm on one side, so I go up and over to the next side, up and over to the next side, until I get all the way to the top and I feed the yarn through the last one. And just to secure it, I'm going to make a knot here. Not a major move, but I like it. And then we're going to feed that working yarn over to get both of the drawstrings over to the middle. So bring them both using your needle to the middle of your little tube. Flatten it out so it's nice and neat. And then you're going to wrap your string twice and tighten it nice and then make a knot. That's all there is to it. There you have it. Your cute little tiny bow that you can place on baby shoes and baby hats or tiny chicks. Like and share the video if you liked it. Don't forget to comment and if you haven't already done so, subscribe.